In an age of increasingly ubiquitous government surveillance, security breaches, and high-profile cancellations in which internet giants have ultimate control over users' online profiles and data, Microsoft is helping to build a technology that would give individuals ownership rights over their own virtual identities. The mission of the ION project is to build decentralized identifiers, or DIDs, that can serve as the anchor point for all our activities across the internet. To achieve this level of decentralization and immutability, ION is built on top of the shared database that's used for recording Bitcoin transactions, which is known as the blockchain. Though Microsoft is contributing most of the work, the company would have no control over who participates in the system. If the goal of Bitcoin is to eliminate the power of central institutions over money, ION is trying to do the same thing with online identity. Daniel Buckner, a self-described libertarian, is the project lead for ION. Explain what a DID is. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're familiar, you're all, everyone's familiar with identity systems today. I mean, you use them pretty much all day long in your digital life. Uh, some of the good examples of a digital ID today, a centralized one, are app usernames, where you log in with a username and password, um, social auth that's usually backed by an email address. And those forms of IDs are essentially leased to you by companies, right? So when you see all those login buttons all over the web, um, that's sort of a, a symptom of, of the disease. Uh, the idea that you need to, to be calling into these other authorities is to essentially prove who you are in the digital world. Much like Bitcoin and having a Bitcoin address backed by strong cryptography allows you to own your own monetary value, um, ION enables you to own your own IDs. So you can imagine an ID, it doesn't look like an email address, but it's wholly yours. You can potentially log into websites, you can get credentials issued to you that you control and you're the only one who can prove this ID and no company owns it. So there's no case where someone shuts down their email service and then you lose access to that ID or lose the ability to log into certain services you've associated with it. 